guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am going to be doing a full face of drugstore first impressions. I feel like there have been so many new drugstore releases and I'm really excited for all of them. Some of these items aren't new, I just haven't tried them before. That being said, let's go ahead and get started. So for primer, I'm gonna try out this e.l.f. glow priming stick. It has coconut and sea butter. So hopefully this makes me glow and dewy. Oh, it's very, very, um, it's very creamy. Feels really nice on the skin though. Okay, so you're gonna definitely have to blend this in with your hands because it's very wet feeling. So for foundation, I'm gonna be trying this new e.l.f. CC cream. I've seen this everywhere. I am in the shade light 280N. So this is a color correcting full coverage natural finish. I want really light coverage, so I'm just gonna go in with like that much. I think this is the right color. <laughs> And then to keep it e.l.f., I'm gonna go in with the e.l.f. sponge. This looks a little orange on me. This is supposed to be a neutral undertone, but it looks very warm. Let's see. Okay, so the finish of this is very natural. It's not dewy, it's not matte, it's more of just like a very natural skin finish. So it's not bad, I like it. And I feel like the e.l.f. glow primer stick um, made my skin very dewy and hydrated underneath. I feel like if I didn't use this, the CC cream would actually kind of be drying just because I have dry skin, so. But I like it. I like the primer stick so far and I like the foundation. For concealer, I'm gonna go in with the Neutrogena Radiant Cream Concealer. I love Neutrogena's makeup brand. I've been dying to try this out and this was on sale, so. This is in the shade Bisque Light Medium 02. So I am loving the finish of this concealer. It is so pretty and it gave me like really good coverage. I, I would say it's like a medium coverage, but I, I don't really care to be like full, full coverage. Yeah, I think it looks really pretty on my skin. Wow, I like it. Next, I'm really excited about this product. It is the e.l.f. Putty Blushes. This is in the shade, this is in the shade Tahiti. And I already swatched it. So this is just like a really gorgeous coral pink. I heard the best way to apply this is with a brush. So I'm going to go in with the e.l.f. Ultimate Blending Brush and just tap it like that. This is so freaking pretty. Oh my god. These look so natural and they are blending out so nicely. They also are giving me like a slight dewy sheen, so I like that. Wow, I really, really like this. How pretty. Everything's going really well so far. So sadly, I don't have a new bronzer or a highlighter to um, test out, so I'm just gonna go in with my Kosas bronzer and my Kadja Mochi highlighter. These two are my current favorite. So for eyebrows, I'm going to be testing out this NYX Tinted Brow Mascara. This is very big compared to like normal brow gels, so I'm kind of intrigued by that. The wand is very big as well. It's like a normal mascara wand, just slightly smaller. Hmm, I actually like this. It tinted my brows like perfectly. It doesn't look too messy, too splotchy, or anything like that. I think it looks really nice. I think this color is just a little too warm, but I really like this. Wow, it looks really nice and natural. I like it. So next, it is the NYX Professional Makeup Lift and Snatch Brow Pen. So this is like um, my Glossier Brow Flick. It's just like another eyebrow flick pen. Wow, I really like this pen. Um, it created a really natural 
little fine hairs and what I noticed about this pen because I try out so many pens like this the tip of this is very thin so it makes it really easy to create fine um, little hairs and this is more pigmented than the Glossier one, but it's not as pigmented as the Milani one. It's kind of like right in between. So I think that's like perfect because sometimes my Glossier one can be too sheer and then my Milani one is way too dark. So I think this is like a good in between amount of pigmentation. Um, and I just really love that the, the brush of this is so fine. So yeah, I really like this. For eyeshadow, I'm going to be going with the ColourPop Going Coconuts palette. This palette, it just like called out to me because it is just all neutral browns. Like it has no warm tones in it, which I like because I stopped wearing warm tones. Um, I just don't think they look that good on me. And so these are just all neutral browns. I have been loving doing like a smoky brown look a lot lately and so this palette is just like perfect for me i'm gonna take this color right here lovely bunch and use that as my all over shade okay now i'm gonna go in with Ulada right here i'm just gonna take this on a flat brush and i'm gonna put that just on my lid Now I'm going to take this darkest brown, Nutty, and just create a eyeshadowing. I think I'm going to go in with this one right here, De Coco, I think. <laughs> and I'm just going to tap that on my lid. Okay, that is the eye look. I want to add just a little bit more blush, so, because I love blush. For mascara, I am going to be testing out this L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara. This is supposedly a dupe for the Glossier Lash Slick, so I am excited about this. Um, I'm not sure about the wand. It looks very weird, and it is just caked with product um within the bristles i'm not sure how this is gonna turn out I'm kind of scared to be honest and the wand feels very really cheap i thought this would feel like more luxurious but it feels very cheap okay so this is definitely not a dupe for the glossier lash slick in my opinion um, it works. It did make my lashes long and nice and I like the way that this looks but it's just, I definitely had to work with it and it's not like my lash slick at all. I think my wet and wild one is a lot more like my lash slick so I mean it's a nice mascara but I had to work with it. Okay now for lips I bought this Morphe lip gloss in the shade Freebird. I have been intrigued by these lip glosses for a long time, I just never bought them, um, but I finally went and picked one up from Ulta, and this looks like a really pretty color, so I'm gonna try out this gloss. I also just love the packaging, I've never seen anything like this before. Ooh, it's a really pretty color. This color is definitely my type of color. Wow, this is really pretty. I love the color. This is like right up my alley. I love how nude it is and really pretty. I like the shine. It feels very light, not sticky at all. Very comfortable on the lips and I love the color. <laughs> all right guys, that was my full face of drugstore first impressions. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next one.